Hi Libra, welcome to Angel Love 333. Hope everybody is doing well. Getting ready here to do your reading, but uh, a couple things here before we start. Everything you know, uh, everything you need to know about my channel is in the description box. There will be an extended reading link below. It will be in an almost personal reading. So for those of you who you have somebody in mind, it will be uh, what your person is thinking or feeling about you, their upcoming actions, love notes. Oh, and I forgot intentions, love messages, and guidance as well. So with that, let's start your reading. Also want to say thank you for all of your likes, your shares, subscribing to my channel, and connecting with me. So with that, let's pull the energy here. And uh, first card. All right, this is from um, the Romance Angels. Let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. Let's see what else comes out here. We have chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction. And we have here love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive okay so definitely pick up up here there's a lot of chemistry here between you and somebody here okay somebody and their connection or the relationship could be controlling okay or it could be around right trying to move the connection or the relationship too fast here there's also an energy here of knowing your worth but let's pull some um <clears throat> Sorry, some uh, major arcana cards here with these cards and see what comes out. All right, so we have the Hierophant. Okay, so, so there's an energy here of, of maybe somebody here uh, wanting to, um, you know, control the situation, maybe around commitment, okay, marriage here, right? Control can mean a lot of different things. So like I said, it could be timing could be dealing with somebody here, right, who doesn't want to feel controlled, right? But we'll see here. What, what else do we have? Okay, we have the Hermit, strong Virgo energy. We also have strong Taurus. And we have the Empress. Yes, the, the Empress loves herself first. The Empress takes care of herself, right? She's in an energy where she can kind of let it go, let it flow and it's not about male or female it's about the energy and this is your energy here libra so this is about knowing your worth here okay so i feel like you're already in that energy right knowing your worth here now you have chemistry here and you have the hermit so what i'm feeling with the chemistry and the hermit is um really listen to your inner guidance your wisdom here don't let the strong magnetic attraction here right lead you off course um, so let's see where this is going, okay? I feel like you're dealing with somebody possibly here. Um, they could be the one here who is controlling, right, around uh, when it comes to commitment. But let's pull your cards. Let's see what comes out here and how these cards relate to uh, your cards coming out. Okay, so you have the Four of Cups. Four of Cups has been coming out a lot lately in the readings. We also have here the Nine of Swords. Okay, and we have the Seven of Swords. Okay, kind of what I was feeling here already. And you have the King of Swords. Okay, so what I get here is I feel it's a situation. You're dealing with somebody here. Could be a water sign, an air sign. We also have strong Taurus. Okay, and like I said, Virgo here. I feel like you're dealing with somebody here who's not too sure that they're ready for a commitment here. That's what I'm seeing here. Now, um, they may feel that they have other options, right? There's other cups down here. Um, so you may be feeling like, right, this person is avoiding here with the Seven of Swords making a commitment. You may even be feeling like this person could be hiding something, maybe hiding that they have other offers here. You have the Nine of Swords here as well. Um, so somebody here has got some worry here, right, around uh, commitment here, okay, either you or your person. Uh, there's a feeling here that I feel like your person is hesitant to take the next steps, okay? So you have the King of Swords on the bottom of the deck here, so I feel like this person has not been pretty, has not been clear about their intentions, 
Um, it does feel like this could be somebody here who's avoiding, right, taking things to the next level. Or this could be somebody uh, in your recent past here who has avoided taking things to the next level, all right? But I'm going to say you're very much still on their mind, okay? I feel that energy here. So if you find yourself thinking a lot about this person, which I'm seeing here with the Nine of Swords, they're thinking about you too, all right? So let's see here... Um, Let's see here what else comes up, okay? So let's see what else you can show Libra. What else can you show Libra here? Okay, so you have the Eight of Pentacles. You have the Moon card. And you have the Knight of Cups, okay? And look at that. You have the Ace of Wands, all right? So Libra here. Okay, your person here, like I said, I feel like they're doing a lot of thinking here, all right? I feel like your person here is thinking about you, this Empress energy. So maybe you have pulled back your energy a bit here, all right? But I still feel like you're thinking about this person, and I feel this person has a lot of feelings, has a lot of emotions here. You could be dealing with a Pisces or a Cancerian here, all right? So there, there's, there's feelings here, right? There's a lot of feelings here, right? Now, I'm going to say here, your person may have fears around commitment, maybe feeling like they're going to lose their freedom or maybe feeling like they're being controlled here. But I see here with the Eight of Pentacles, I don't feel like this connection is... Um, you know, if you're feeling like th th this person, you know, things aren't going to work out, I feel just the opposite. This person here is trying to figure out how things can work, I feel, with you. All right? You have the Knight of Cups here, okay? So I feel like you got somebody here maybe that uh, maybe has been a bit of a hermit. Maybe there's been some distance. Could be even somebody you're in separation with. But this is someone I feel who has spent a lot of time thinking here. They may even be very focused on their money and work right now, right? Trying not to deal with the emotions here of this connection. But I feel that the chemistry here, the magnetic attraction is too strong. So I see this person here reaching out to you here with the Knight of Cups. Because there is a lot of feelings and there is a lot of emotion here. You also have here the Ace of Wands. And look, here's your energy here, Libra. This person's very attracted to you. This person here does have feelings for you. And I feel like this, you're going to hear from this person definitely me showing that so it's going from maybe you were feeling like this person was hiding something or they were avoiding something or they were, might have even been avoiding communication to now this person is reaching out to you i feel like maybe this person just needed some time to 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 be alone right um to maybe miss you right or to really process their feelings their emotions for you so let's see what else comes out here, all right? And I feel here, right, if you're, if you're giving this person space, that's part of uh, loving yourself first, right? You taking time to yourself to do what's important to you, loving you, right? And also focusing on your own goals and dreams and giving this person their space here, right, to really figure things out. And I feel like th that is working. If that's what you're doing, I feel like that is working here. Okay, so let's see what else comes out for you, Libra. Right, we have the Seven of Wands. We have the King of Pentacles. And we have the Three of Pentacles. All right, and look, there you are again. Bottom of the deck there with the Justice card. Or you could be done with another Libra. Okay, so... Let's see here. We basically have all the signs on the board. I'm going to go over. We have strong Pisces, Cancerian, Taurus, Virgo, and your energy here, Libra. <clears throat> so your first card you have is the Seven of Wands. All right. So, like I said, I don't feel that. I feel like if the two of you have given each other some space, whatever difficulty whatever challenges or whatever blocks there are and one of the blocks could be here right you you know not loving yourself right you may be giving in 
right? Maybe to passion, right? Um, not setting your boundaries. There's a lot of different things here. But with the Seven of Wands, it's showing me here by loving yourself first here, being in this Empress energy, you're going to overcome the obstacles, right? You're going to overcome the obstacles and this is going to move forward towards something more stable is what I'm seeing here because you have the King of Pentacles. So, you know, this worry here, the emotion here, I feel that both of you are feeling here, I feel now is going to move forward towards a more stable place, right? This person I see here who may uh, have felt distant, I see communication, right? With this Knight of Cups here reaching out to you. And then look what you have here. You have the Three, three of Pentacles. So this person is wanting to, to work on things with you right to come together they're hoping that you're going to be receptive it's also an energy here of building trust and also building stability here so i feel there's an opportunity for you and this person to come together but i also want to say here that you're going to need to be you have to give this person some space right and you have to have your own time here as the empress so i'm going to pull um three more cards just see where the energy is going here, right? Now, in the extended, like I said, we're going to dive deeper. We'll see what this person's intentions are because I do see this person, right, still communicating with you or if there's been some distance, I see this person reaching out to you. It feels like an energy of things moving towards a more stable place than maybe they were. it was in the past. Okay, so you have the Six of Pentacles, we have the Page of Swords. And look at that. We have the Hierophant. Okay. Yeah. And the Chariot. Strong Cancerian energy. Okay. So I see movement forward, right? I see movement forward. You have the Six of Pentacles. I'm going to say for some of you, I don't know if you're dating other people. You could be out there dating or talking to other people online. So you may have a choice right where you're going to put your time and energy uh you know there may be more than one person here i'm going to say uh for some of you if you're out there dating and, and talking online but what i'm going to say here too is i see communication i see this person putting effort into communication like i said building something more stable and then you have the hierophant could be dealing with the taurus so I'm going to say here, it does feel like things are moving to more of a stable place. Um, I feel uh, with this Page of Swords here, the Six of Pentacles and the Hierophant, there's an energy here of you and this person like pursuing uh, a relationship here. Okay, maybe where there has been a little bit of distance or maybe you felt this person was avoiding you, but really I feel like this person is somebody who doesn't want to feel like, um, you know, they're being rushed right into a relationship. And I also feel like this could be somebody too who is somebody who uh, wants to have their freedom, their space. Um, and Or they could be somebody who is controlling. So I'm going, you know, who likes to call the shots really is what I'm trying to say there. So let's pull some Kipper cards. Let's see what additional messages we get here for you, Libra. It does look positive, but like I said, both you and this person need your space to do your own thing, right? To focus on you. And it does feel like that's what you're doing, Libra, focusing on you. And some of you, I feel like you could be out there dating as well. So let's see what the Kipper cards have to say. Oh, look at that. Sudden wealth. All right. So there could be some sort of unexpected income or abundance. It's a number 11 card. Let's see what else comes out with that. Okay. Toil and labor. So if there's something here, right, that you're doing what's good for you and you're focused on that, right, focused on your work, there's some sort of abundance that's coming your way. All right. And I feel here it's sudden, right? It's unexpected here. And it, it's something that has to do with your hard work whatever you're putting your time and your energy into so beautiful beautiful energy there look at that great fortune as well you've got a lot of abundance here okay so if there's something here that's in the works i'm just going to say in life in general here with your abundance your work uh, not your abundance your work here some sort of project 
uh, they're telling you it's it's very profitable. You got the great fortune card here. And so abundance can be in love too. Let's see what you have here. Community, all right? Yeah, I don't know if you work with the community here. Could we work with the community here? But I'm also can say this could be abundance here as far as um, you know, socially, right? Meeting new people here, people being very attracted to your energy. That's how the Empress works. Uh, wow, really, really nice energy for you. Okay, I'm gonna say here this can be a, a union, right, between you and this person. Let's see what else we have here. Or just people just liking you. Look at that. Yeah. The pathway is open. Okay. Definitely seeing that energy here. The path is open for you. I feel there's a lot of possibilities for you, whether you decide, right, that you want to work on things with this person. Like I said, for some of you, I feel like there could be options. And look what I see here. Bottom of the deck here, you have the marriage card. And that's what I was saying here. I feel that there is... Um, there is opportunity for you and this person to pursue a relationship, even marriage. So, wow, Libra, I wasn't expecting that card on the bottom of the deck. We're going to pursue this uh, more in depth in the extended. I hope to see you there. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening. And I'm sending you angel love.